the session where I could relax and you take over. Please welcome Dinesh. Thank you, Srinivas. Advanced Communicator Bronze. Silver! Advanced Communicator Advanced Leader Bronze. All right, same part now. Same part. All right, so good evening, everyone. So this is, to me, the most exciting session in a Toastmasters meeting. Because one unique thing about Toastmasters is everyone, at the end of the day, you get evaluated by another Toastmaster. So you don't leave the room without learning anything. And a sort of disclaimer here, whatever evaluation you hear today, you have to understand that that comes from that one person's point of view. And you can take it, you know, you have to take it with a pinch of salt. And when you leave, don't have hatred against a person. Oh, okay. Okay, you know, don't hate the person. I, uh, I'm telling you this because based on personal experience, I have. Ah uh, yes, don't you know, don't go into anything weird. But I'm saying this on personal experience because there was once where I went to another university club and I evaluated this person and I told her to redo her CC and she just went on a total hate mode on me. So I'm just like, okay, so I'm telling you, don't do that. So just be nice with everyone. Alright, so to conduct the evaluation session, I would like to now first, we already did the table topics evaluation, so yes. straight to a um, speaker's evaluation. To evaluate our first speaker, Ajit Paul, can I please call upon Distinguished Toastmaster Sam Wall. Get comfortable with mutual aids. I think uh, Ajit, Ajit Paul is it? Right, if you have done uh, very good homework on getting the visual aid to be organized well, right? You had fantastic, beautiful slides with all the information necessary inside, right? Your main objective today is to get your message across with whatever visual aid you have, right? Your appearance, you dress to kill today, all right? Um, <laughs> Normally, when um, there's an evaluator waiting to evaluate you, number one, they look at you as your um, appearance, right? And the way you conduct yourself, and number three, your voice, your tone. All these are the basic things any evaluator will look at it first. After that, is that your message comes in. No doubt, at the start, we had some issues on your, on your IT equipment. This is normal, we accept it, but in future, let's get this part done first, so that there's no hiccups. Now, talking about the visual aids, you are basically talking about Malaysian culture, right? But the, all the photos that I see <laughs> on the visual aids are all from US, UK, or whatever it is, all right? You want to talk about family, show some Indian family, or a, or a Bai family, or a Chinese family. There was, of course, you want to make it look um, a bit more humor, you had some um, TV series out there. But we are Malaysians, we like to see Malaysian things there, all right? Probably you have put some of the famous local guys over here, all right? This is how you attract the audience to look at the, look at your slides. Number two, um, the stories you share, all right? I'm not sure whether it's your personal story or is it uh, from someone else's experience. We like to know about Akau, Ahmad, or Mutu. That kind of family culture, all right? Um, in order to make it more localized. And number three, the story, I think you start off with a bit too long that made you to run your slides a bit faster, right? This is comes to your timing. Timing, you have to be very careful. Probably you practice yourself and say, okay, this is the story I'm going to tell. This is how long or how short it's going to be. At the end of the day, after everything is done, good appearance, um, nice vocal voice, and your message is here. Are you getting this message across? We may have prepared a good slides, but at the end of the day, the message is not across, and people are not willing to save the money or buy your ideas. This is where you either win or you have a learning experience. Overall, I think you've done well, but the only few things that I said is make it localized, um, your timing, as well as your getting your gadgets right before your speech. Back to you. Thank you, Samuel. 
if I could add to that evaluation, I, I think this is something that even your mental says. You have to use two visual aids when it comes to CCA. I only saw one, which is the slides. Did you use another visual aid that I missed? All right, so I think that's one thing. When it comes to the speech objectives, you're supposed to use two visual aids that you want to take into account. So to evaluate our next speaker, who was Go Chi Yong, can I have advanced communicator, bronze competitor leader, Lee Kiat Chi? Very good. Thank you. Thank you, the narrator. Toastmaster Chi Yong, it's my honor to be able to evaluate you. Congratulations, you have done your on your CC number nine. What I like about your speech is you select a topic that is close to your heart. Every one of us face a failure in, our, in many parts of our life. And you use a various example and many characters that is uh, familiar for us. You also have a very clear structure of the speech using the three exam three lesson that we can learn from failure. If I could suggest, you can put in more conviction in your speech by uh, increase your volumes and vocal variety and your hand gesture. Rather than you share about the stories about those famous people, I would rather I would like to know more how you get back from your failures and how you learn from those failures and what is the lesson you get personally and how you get back from that, those failures. By doing so you will touch the our heart. And I would because this uh, speech number nine is more to persuading audience, you need to call for action by you could have used more details, points to convince us. Do not, do not fear of the fa failure. And you could use more powerful quotes. Example: the first time you didn't do it right, do it until you get it. Rather than you use those uh, Winston Churchill's uh, quotes, failure is not fatal. Or those. You have, I believe, you can use more actions uh, quotes rather than motivational quotes. Overall, this is an inspiring speech. Put in a more call for the action, you can use a similar topic for your inspiring speech. I look forward for your CC number 10. Back to you, General Thank you, Nancy. Uh, Go Chi Yong. I'm agreeing to the evaluator if one thing that I could add is this is CC 9, where your objective was to basically persuade the speakers. Your speech came off to me as a very inspirational speech, but the one slight thing that was lacking in your speech to me was the persuasion. What are you trying to persuade us to do with power? So that was my evaluation. I mean, my shuttle. So our third speaker, Chim Li Hua, and to evaluate her, can I call upon competent communicator, advanced reverence, Siki Er. So the timer is away, I get more time, so... <laughs> now this being an evaluation of an advanced manual, therefore the meat is going to be heavier, and when I say meat is heavier, you can see that I am also quite big size. And this, I think particularly to the point where you said that you're eating pig brains to be happy, uh, to be smarter or something like that. And I take, I took a little bit of offense to that because I was born in the year of pig. <laughs> now, let's get down to business. This is a speech to entertain. Were we all entertained? I believe we were. It first took a bit of warming up and we were all there listening. So we were listening intently to waiting for to see what Li Hua was going to talk about. And then she took out the book. And slowly, the humor started. He started talking about the old auntie's tale, or the old wife's tale, we would like to call it, of some local favorites. And that's why it was called the Kopi Tiam Chi Chat. Because it's quite <coughs> to our dialect, the Malaysian dialect. So I'm so sorry, Sri, you did not get most of it. But it's fine. I think you learned something there, right? <laughs> or you knew about it, awesome. 
So you have achieved something great there. Eh? <laughs> so everyone was participative, everyone laughed, and that was a sign to say that yes, it has you have achieved that point. Alright? Now, the speech questions were very legitimate to the point where you're asking about was this real? Was that real? Is this true? All of it. Your whole structure always ended with how true is it? And I thought that tied in quite well. Now let's go into some of the things that made it effective and some of the things that did not make it so effective. The effective part were that was that, that you used questions to appeal to everyone's nostalgic memory. Because we are all in a position where we are almost in a professional environment all the time. We are talking so professionally, we just forget about the funny things that our parents talked about. But what was not so in effective is the point that you did not tell us more about the book. I think the introduction could have been spent a little bit more in depth, not in length, in depth about what the book talk, really talks about. It is to talk about Malaysian stories, Malaysian beliefs for that matter, which are not proven. And that would probably tell us now we understand what those stories were about. You had very good body language, which is why you are a competent communicator. However, I do need to talk to you a little bit about your vocals. It was a little bit too monotonous. Therefore, while you captivated us with the question, we were not listening throughout because you kind of lost us there. Perhaps a little bit of drama would be good. All in all, I thought it was an entertaining speech. It was something that I wouldn't mind being involved in a discussion or something like that because all these stories related very well to us. And therefore, congratulations. I hope to hear your third speech. Back to you, January. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't really have anything to add to this evaluation, so I'll just go to the final evaluator for today. To evaluate our speaker, Sharonjit Kaur, can I please have competent Toastmaster, competent Toastmaster, advanced in the silver, Paul Tan. Really, Sharon, are you a sales trainer? Yes, I'm in marketing team actually. Well, I would say that uh, she did give us a very, very long, detailed 15 to 20 minutes presentation of all the things in marketing. I think uh, she also she's very detailed and she showed many, many things. I would say that uh, that I would say uh, she did really well. I would say that uh, as a sales and uh, marketing man, you have to really demonstrate a real example how to sell a product. Whether it is, you mentioned Nasi Mama, you said ch changing the fish, but it's about all, you know, like you could have emphasized more on uh, maybe the packing and then the fish is uh, very well cooked and not, not stale and things like that. And, and people will, will have to market it, like example, like first timer, give you a discount and uh, you, you recommend people next time, you know, maybe, you know, you, you bring 10 and one free to advertise it. That's, that could be an example, right? not about just a thing. But actually in sales, they are selling product, they are selling uh, what I call uh, many, many things, could be an internet, could be many, many things. So I would say that uh, uh, you should have given us example how to sell uh, maybe, uh, uh, maybe not only a physical product, could be some education product or some something. That would have been better. And you spoke very fast and very quick and very detailed, blah, 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 blah. I would say that it's easier to slow down, example, and give an example, you know, like uh, how to sell you. Example, I said, do you enjoy Lassi Lama? Have you tried Lassi Lama with this special fish? Would you like to try it? So, say you were to ask a question on how to close, because I see that you, you were just uh, uh, give all the statement, but you don't give a demonstration. Mm -hmm. See, to me, uh, example, let's say like uh, example, <coughs> we are all salesmen, therefore we listen to you. 
say there must be a statement and say, I have given talk like that, this, this exercise. All of us are selling. Professional sales plan to sell. And what do they do? Share. Share, share what? Professional sales plan don't sell. Professional sales people help customers to buy. How to help him? Find out their needs. You know, by asking questions. And finally, you tell him, if I need to solve your problem, would you be just That would be my closing sale. So, I would say that, uh, uh, I would say that you have done the overalls. Perhaps you have to rethink about it. How to give a life example of how to sell a product and how to close it. A physical product, or could be, a, could be even a, for a dress or for a man. Give an example. How you open, how you answer. You see, you're supposed to answer even back objections. You did not do it. How to answer objections. And finally, how to close the sale. This training is about sales training. Not nothing to do with marketing. So you edit all those things all the table. Overall, you have been a very detailed presenter on what is sales and marketing. What do you think? Okay. Thank you, Paul Tan. Um, if I have to add to that evaluation, um, I think one of uh, the objectives in your speech was to use engineering stories and dynamic examples of sales situation. So I think your examples to me was extremely serious. It was not like so entertaining. And I think like what he said was like when you were giving a talk, to me I felt intimidated. <laughs> Because it was like, you were just like firing shots, like shots of the shot, and I was like, okay, it was quite scary. So you might want to like chill down a bit and you know, control the situation. Because that's what I got. So that's just my thought. So since we're done with the evaluation session, can I please have everyone 